श्री सप्तगिरि उल्का जी थैंक यू चेयरमैन मैम फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू स्पीक ऑन डिमांड फॉर ग्रांड्स रेलवेज फॉर द ईयर 2020-21 फर्स्टली आई लाइक टू से दैट द रेल बजट फॉर द ईयर 2021 फॉर ओडिशा वी हैव बीन नेगलेक्टेड वी हैव अलोकेटेड ओनली 4373 करोड़ व्हिच इज मच लोअर देन व्हाट वाज अलोकेटेड इन द लास्ट ईयर so my colleague from bjd has already mentioned about the various railway projects i would like to take up on two three projects and try to explain what is the problem the first one is the gunpur tirvari rail line that's the noapada gunpur broad gauge which was upgraded to tirvali with 79.15 kilometers so this was uh, approved in 2017 18 and uh, with all uh, like we were there were a lot of celebrations and so on but What, what happened after that is there was a dpr which was done and now the ministry of railways they have come back to us and said that the dpr is the rate of return is only minus 3.19% and if the state government they share the cost 50% and give land free of cost you will be able to revive the project now my colleague also mentioned i met the cm of odisha they mentioned that they are ready to give this 50% cost and give land free of cost but there is no connection between the central ministry and the state government there is some disconnect and i would like to request through you ma'am to honorable railway minister can you please form a committee and see where the gap is the state government is willing to provide the money and the land free of cost the railway ministry is also willing to do it but nothing is happening for the last one or two years it's been in a back burner at the same time there was one more project which is gopalpur to raigada via gunpur bismagiri uh, and digapandi this was also completed in 2011 12 the survey was done and what is included in the capital investment program in 2017 18 now when i had asked the ministry like what is the progress of the project they said that they waiting for a joint venture company from odisha again when i go to the state government they say some of the story now sir one more project was now recently announced sambalpur gopalpur new rail line project which was sanctioned in this budget and in uh, its wide pink book item number 9 in year 2020 21 now if you look at the three projects and if we can realign this project uh, minister sir if we can realign this three projects you can save at least 71 kilometers and it will no longer be commercially unviable which you have been mentioning so i would like to request the honorable minister through you speaker ma'am that if you can realign the gunpur tirvali line and gunpur padam via gunpur padampur ramnagoda mankli bisamkatak terubali and singapore road and the balance 150 km can be addressed from jagannathpur to padampur from the gopalpur singapore road stretch because the duplication of rail line which has to be done through the new project similarly if you look at jaipur navarampur and jaipur malganagiri line again this was included in budget in 2016 17 and uh, the jaipur navarampur line 38 km is very unfortunate that it took 3 years for the ministry of railways to complete the final location survey and just recently they completed the final location survey and for the jaipur malkangiri line again the the survey is complete only for the first 30 km so what i am trying to say is that there has been big ticket announcements but nothing is happening on the ground and the state government is blaming the central government the central government is blaming the state government now we come to raigada division with south coast railways raigada division was announced with much glare in the last one year but if you look at the progress raigada division like some of the colleagues also mentioned about south coast railway for the last one year no progress has been made A allocation only 3 crore has been made out of the requirement of 170 crore we would request the ministry to please uh, fasten the project pump in more money so that this can be done and given the paucity of time let me read down my requirements since you will ring the buzzer so let me come to the important points which are the demand of the people that i represent first i would request the ministry to kindly consider extending the jurisdiction of east coast railway to include jarsuguda barswan kiruburu from scr raurkela noaga scr and jarsuguda imgiri sccr section under a new division we want a new division to set up at raurkela extending the jurisdiction of eco east coast railway to include banspani padapahar rupsa bangriposi and bhadrak lakshmanath road under new division with headquarters at jajpur we want a new railway division at jajpur we need a new daytime train to jaipur from jaipur kurapur to bhuneshwar via raigada the extend the lokmanya tilak express 18519 18520 which is the mumbai visakhapatnam to raigada extend 12893 bhuneshwar to bolangir intercity express to raigada 22819 bhuneshwar to visakhapatnam intercity express please extend to kurapur 
via Aroku. 2284748 currently is weekly. If you can, uh, sir, make it daily, which will help the people. 182871 is Path Express, extended till Vishakhapatnam. 02409 Sambalpur, Raigad Superfast Special, extended till Raigad and Korapur. 18303 Sambalpur, Puri Intercity Express, extended till Raigad. A new intercity train from Gunpur to Bhuneshwar Badrak. Rerun the Durg Jagdalpur Express. And one last thing, with this I will conclude. Like with the Raigad division, the large scale eviction are happening in Raigada and because the people have been settling there for the last 70 years and there are some discussions in state government how you can rehabilitate the same. Again, there is blame game which is happening from state government to central government. I would request the Ministry of Railway to act like a big brother, help in the rehabilitation, settle the people who are being evicted. There are more than 2,000 families who are being evicted. 11 NC shops, they have been evicted already with the railway has promised to rehabilitate them. That should be done. With this, I would like to say, I have been requesting this multiple times, I have written multiple letters to the Minister. I get just a one-liner reply that we are looking into it, but we need some progress. I would expect the Minister to please provide an update on the same. Thank you, sir. Yeah.